All right, this is fifth grade module four, lesson 33, and students are going to be solving word problems. So here we go. Uh, we've got Chase, and he volunteers at an animal shelter after school, feeding and playing with the cats. I've got a story or two about cats. Uh, so anyway, um, if he can make five servings of cat food from a third of a kilogram of food, uh, how much does one serving weigh? All right, so we're going to begin by drawing our tape diagram, and we're going to begin by drawing a picture of a third. So here is our picture of a third, and we learn that he can make five servings from that one-third. So that means I can cut it up into five equal-sized pieces, and one of those is a serving. All right. Now we can continue cutting all of the thirds into five pieces, and so we can see that the whole has 15 pieces. And so essentially the math that we're doing is we're doing one-third divided by five, and that's the same thing as, let's see, one, no, I don't want to do number, the words, oops, uh, there. Let's do uh, the number one-third divided by five, and then we can see that one-third is also, can be thought of as five-fifteenths. So there's our five-fifteenths. So we can change this to five-fifteenths divided by five. And 5 fifteenths divided by 5 is 1 fifteenth. And I'm just going to do shorthand and just put 1 fifteenth. And there, that's not too surprising. We can see that the whole is made up of 15 parts. And we want 1 out of those 15 parts. So the answer is 1 fifteenth of a kilogram. So I'm going to put that kg there. So now question B says if Chase wants to give this same serving size to each of 20 cats... How many kilograms of food will he need? So we're going to have 20 copies of that 1 15th. So we're going to multiply. That gives us 20 15ths, which we can then change that to 15 15ths and 5 15ths. And that 15 15ths right here, that's equal to 1. So this is equal to 1 whole and 5 fifteenths kilograms. So how many kilograms of food will he need? It's 1 and 5 fifteenths kilograms. Now if you want to, we can simplify by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5, and that gives us a simplified answer of 1 and 1 third kilograms. In this question, Miss Geronimo has a $10 gift certificate to her local bakery. And if she buys a slice of pie for $2.20 and uses the rest of the gift certificate to buy chocolate macaroons that cost 60 cents each, how many macaroons can Miss Geronimo buy? So we're going to begin by modeling this and saying, okay, here's our $10. She immediately chops off $2.20 of that for the slice of pie. And then we want to know how many 60 cents can fit in with what's remaining. So how many 60 cents could there be? So I'm going to put how many cookies. All right, so that's essentially what's going on. So first thing we're going to have to do is we have to subtract. So we're going to do $10, subtract $2.20. Teachers and parents, you may have to do some review. 
on lining up our decimal and lining up all of our, our ones place, our tens place, our tenths and our hundredths, and then subtract. Oh, let's see. Uh, this is zero. Yikes. Zero. That becomes a ten. Then that becomes a nine. And that becomes a ten. <coughs> so now we subtract and we get $7.80. So now we have $7.80. That's this blue section. And we want to know how many 60 cents can you fit in $7.80. So that's a division problem. So $7.80 divided by 60 cents. And that's the same thing as 7.80 over 0 0.60. So I, I wrote this division problem here as a fraction. And because we don't want that whole that denominator to have a decimal, we'd like it to be a whole number. One way on this problem to do that is I can multiply by 10 over 10. That's going to be 1. That's equal to 1. So I'm going to multiply by 1, which doesn't change the value at all. And when I do that, I end up with, oh, I'll do it over here, 78 over 6. And the thing we learned a couple of lessons ago, when you multiply by 10, a nice little shortcut for thinking of that is you move the decimal one space to the right, you move the decimal one space to the right, and all of a sudden I get 78 divided by 6. Parents and teachers, we could have multiplied by 100, and then the decimal would have been moved twice, and we would have had 780 divided by 60. Different fraction, but it has the same exact value. Um, but I chose to do multiply by 10 over 10. Now when we divide, 78 divided by 6, so I'm going to go over here, and 78 divided by 6. So we're going to do scratch paper. 78 divided by 6. Ignore that equal sign. And doing our scratch work, we could see that the answer is 13. So how many cookies could she buy? She could buy 13 macaroons. So I'm going to write that in, 13 macaroons. Now for part B, they change some of the constraints. Similar, same story. She changes her mind, and instead she buys a loaf of bread for $4.60. And then she uses the rest to buy her cookies that cost one and a half times as much as the macaroons. All right, so we remember we began by subtracting, so we're going to continue that. We're going to subtract, only this time we're going to subtract by $4.60. And so we get $5.40. Now the cookies cost one and a half times as much as the macaroons. So if a macaroon costs 60 cents, one and a half. A couple of ways to do it. We could multiply, but I'm going to use logic. I'm going to chop it in half, and a half would be 30 cents, wouldn't it? So one and a half would be 60 cents plus 30 cents. So one and a half is 90 cents. Because here's the one plus a half equals 90 cents. So now with this remaining $5.40, we need to divide by 90. So, $5.40 divide by 90 cents. I'm going to write it as a fraction. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10. So really, I'm multiplying by 1. So I'm changing the way it looks, but I'm not changing the actual value. 
That gives me 54 over 9. And I could do that division in my head. The answer is 6. So how many cookies can she buy? She could buy 6 cookies. And that wraps up 5th grade module 4, lesson 33, solving word problems.